Junk food. Eat junk food with buddies. Junk food. Get to know your friends better. Junk food for thought. We are here with Marissa Morrison. Tell us a little bit about your snacks. Um, I have peach rings, which are my favorite thing out of our vending machine here at the station. Tell us your best story about peach rings. I don't know. How about just a mediocre story? My rabbit. Which rabbits are vegetarians, obviously. They just eat. Also, she has a pet I rabbit. I have a pet rabbit. He also loves like sour, like gummy candy. I'll let him have a nibble, which I probably shouldn't do. It's probably super unhealthy. I don't <laughs> think anyone knows if that's Hopefully healthy that's or not unhealthy animal for abuse. rabbits. So sometimes he like sits like a little meatloaf, and I call him a little, like a little meatloaf. <laughs> so meat he'll loaf. like. Have you seriously considered eating your rabbit? No, <laughs> no, no. And I got him from a shelter, so he's like a couple different breeds <laughs> a together. A shelter? I didn't even know the shelters did rabbits. Yeah. Oh, this is like, back oh, to my, just this looking is back for a great day. Oh, look, story. a rabbit. Okay. Yeah. So I had a couple friends at school. I went to Gonzaga, by the way. I got Best. in. I got in because, because you I... knew John Stockton. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's just let's just skip right to the chase here. Okay. Gonzaga. John Stockton. Did you ever meet him? I met his son because his son was going to Gonzaga at the same time. So I met David like they're, they're on first name. No, basis. he would not know who I was. But his name is David Stockton. I mean, the basketball players are like kind of. I mean, they're kind of famous. It's like it's like the players of Boise State. Like, you kind of know who they are. You went to high school in Pocatello? Yes. So, like, Pocatello High School or Highland? Highland High School. So not the haunted one? Not the haunted one. Any oh. crazy ghost stories of Highland? Mm, not really. I was never there that late at night. Do you believe in ghosts? No. You had to think about it for a second. I had to think about it. Okay, how about aliens? No. No? No. You were much quicker on that one, so zero aliens. No, I'm, I'm not, uh, no aliens. I'm gonna say hard pass on the aliens. Hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> How about Bigfoot? No, I don't believe in Bigfoot. Loch Ness Monster? Um, maybe at one time. I think she's probably passed by now, but I do believe that. Um, she? You, you actually gave the Loch Ness Monster <laughs> a gender. <laughs> like, if you weren't a reporter, what would you be doing right now? I would be a mortician. Okay. <laughs> Were you expecting that answer? No, and I don't even have a follow-up question to that. Okay, well, my grandpa and my great-grandpa were morticians, so it's, it runs in my family. And my mom's a nurse, so I feel like I have like a little bit so, of a medical wait, 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 background. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your mom's a nurse. Yeah. But on one side, you got morticians, and on one side, you got nurses. Yeah. Is that, I mean, does your mom ever have to kick people out of a hospital room saying, not yet? No, no. You just work on the phone? Are no. you dead yet? No. Well, call back <laughs> when you are. We don't have a mortuary anymore. You actually had a mortuary. My, okay, so my, my grandparents did in Arco for for like my really young childhood until I was about seven or eight. They had the mortuary in Arco. So like I like probably saw like my first dead body when I was like four or five. Do you ever think that robots will become reporters? Well, I don't think any robot now would be able to. Okay, but how about in 10 years? Well, that's scary. If Skynet becomes self-aware, yeah. the first thing they might do is in Start time. Start stealing reporting jobs. Yeah. I feel like they should take jobs that like pay more money. <laughs> 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 if like any robots are out there listening and they want a job, maybe don't go into reporting. Because as a robot, like you still have needs, right? You still want like a dope purse. You're gonna have you're gonna have like needs and desires, like a sweet house or charging station. I don't know. I have learned more about robots in the last <laughs> I don't twenty know anything seconds. About robots. <laughs> if your life was going to be a book or a movie, who would be in it? Like Leonardo DiCaprio is in. Playing you. Not playing okay, me, but okay. like maybe a little. Maybe I'll play myself. He can be my love interest. Yeah, <laughs> you have a crush yeah. on Leonardo DiCaprio, Maybe a don't you? Bit, yeah. uh, there's my elevator pitch. It's just me, Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> making out. <laughs> that movie could actually be profitable. That's my pitch for you, Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> I'm gonna say Samuel L. Jackson because he's for in, me. He's in every movie. <laughs> can I go to the bathroom? Are we done? Yeah. Oh, you good? Yeah. <laughs> I just am, like gonna pee my pants. That's how we end. <laughs> we we talk until someone has to pee their pants, <laughs> and then we go home. It's